Well, Facebook is also in focus today. Reuters is reporting that the social media giant has not been invited to the White House summit on social media scheduled for Thursday. Now, the event is being described as bringing together digital leaders to discuss the current online environment. President Trump will reportedly speak at the meeting. And as Foray is back with me, and as Facebook is such a big player in this space, <laughs> when you think about uh, the White House administration getting together some of the biggest names there, don't you think Facebook should be included? Why are they not being included? You'd think so with more than 2 billion users. Certainly, you'd think that Facebook would be included in this. It's not clear who exactly is going. We do know that some conservatives will be attending. And as you said, uh, President Trump will be speaking. But as far as Facebook is concerned, uh, we know that uh, President Trump, uh, the, the administration also knows that uh, Facebook, Twitter have been very important as far as uh, the elections are concerned as far as the messaging that that goes out in the past though president trump has criticized these companies uh for being biased he tweeted back in march that facebook google and twitter are on the side of the radical left uh, facebook says that they have not been invited it's unclear if twitter has been invited or not they haven't said if they are uh, going uh, jack dorsey you'll recall that back in april had met with President Trump uh, in the Oval Office at the White House. So uh, it's we just have to wait and see who will be attending. But certainly, as far as Facebook is concerned, it is the largest social media platform. So you'd think that they would be uh, have some participation in this. Uh, and as another uh, big story, at least on the street, that we're watching in terms of Facebook today is uh, we have Barclays weighing in on the company. Barclays saying that Facebook is, quote, too cheap to keep ignoring. They go on to say that Facebook is the best pure play in consumer internet around mobile advertising. When you take a look at Facebook, this is a stock that has been really plagued by a lot of those privacy concerns, mm -hmm. most recently potential regulations. Does this mean when we see Barclays being so bullish on the stock that some of those concerns are now in the rearview mirror? Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're all in the rear of mirror, but you do have Facebook that has come out to say that they've set aside $3 billion for uh, an expected FTC fine. That fine's supposed to come in anywhere between 3 and $5 billion. You did see the stock uh, go under pressure when uh, reports came out of uh, greater uh, government scrutiny, perhaps antitrust uh, scrutiny. Uh, so you saw Facebook, Alphabet, Apple, uh, some of the FANG names that were under pressure when that happened. Uh, but as far as that, that as far as uh, Facebook setting aside that money, uh, some see it as uh, a cost that, that is a one-time thing that has been set aside. But I think that one of the important things is everything that Facebook is working on and also just the trust, the trust from, uh, from users and whether or not they'll be able to have that it, with things like, especially with projects like the cryptocurrency projects that they're working on. All right, Inez, thank you.